you us in the world. We greet you, saints. We have people that have been visitors in the church today during the service, and are here today with us. It's their first time, so they'll introduce themselves and let us know who they are and where they come from. May you please introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming from. I'm Lomkelo Mashamu. I'm from South Africa, Wande Bene Bumalaya. Uh, I'm William Stoller, also from South Africa, Wande Bene Bumalaya. Yeah, lovely. It's great to have you around. How did you find the first session of your coming here? Because I guess it's your first time to come here. How did you find the session? It was great because it is the word of God. It was just another um, affirmation of the work of God and um, the word of God, the Bible, the declarations, basically that the power of God is in Christ and uh, that Christ is a deliverer. And they, that's what we need to just know as people, that Christ is a deliverer. And um, all the lessons that he got, and all the so for me it was just another uh, affirmation and just a you know this is what the bible is it's the crux of the bible if we cannot understand that when christ died on the cross he died for what we go through on the day then we've missed the whole point of us believing what the work of christ on the cross Upon receiving that word, a special word that made you remember things that you had forgotten, how did you feel? It was, it was, it was uplifting. It was uplifting because uh, it's, it's a daily uh, reminder. It should be our affirmation every day, especially in the time of Corona right now, where it's a huge sickness and it's, 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 it's almost like mind crippling because people are fearful. There's so much not to look forward to anymore. But, um, you know, when, when the pastor said, um, it is a daily affirmation. I mean, you, you, you cross a curse with a curse. That, was, that for me was just the punchline of today. For the curse to be canceled, you had to be, you will have to cancel it with another curse. So everything was taken away from us by Christ and nothing should be so difficult for us anymore. I mean, we should enjoy life because he has given it to us abundantly. Wow, that is so great. But when you went to the prayer line, I saw in the prayer line, the man of God spoke of something that I believe touched your life. Do you remember what the man of God said during the prayer line? Well, the man of God said, um, we don't have to waste money or use money anymore. It's not going to be difficult anymore. Uh, things will don't have to be difficult because everything is on Christ. And uh, the money that we've been losing, uh, it, it's, it's the end of it today. Watch Deliverance in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. So I, I want you to know one thing. This thing is on Jesus. Jesus carried all your sorrow. And you shouldn't waste your money on this now. All our troubles, all our sorrow, all our pain, Jesus carried them for us. I see this on Jesus, not on you. It's not on your family. Clap for Jesus Christ. And that's why things were working hard, were happening very difficult, in a difficult way for you. But now, having come, if you receive this message, things will start working easy, easy. Because the anointing makes things easier. I see things happening easy now. Okay. So for me, that tying up with, because he had a rush, he's been having a rush uh, for the past month, and I can't say it's the past month, it comes and goes, and within the service, when people kept saying, um, the ones that were being delivered, they kept saying, 
they stepped over, it was by the gate. Matimon, when they were saying it was by the gate. And each time he comes, he goes home on weekends because he works in Pretoria. So each time he goes home, one day in Pumalang, it's almost like there's something that he gets there and picks up and he doesn't know what it is. So recently, he's been having a bad uh, itchy skin every every night, especially. He starts itch, itching. Every night, he starts itching. He's been drinking allergics, he's been drinking um, a lot of uh, trying to put ointment just to calm the skin, the skin down. And um, on our way to church today, he was like, I know for sure it's not an allergy because we thought it was an allergy. We stopped eating red meat for about two weeks just to see where the allergy was coming from. And he said on our way, he said, I know for sure this is not an allergy. This is somebody trying to just do me bad because I've been seeing the trail of things. So when the pastor said, when he preached about sickness and disease being on Christ, for me already it was cancelled. Secondly, when he said you don't have to lose money anymore, he's been losing a lot of money. He makes money, but he also loses the money. So for me, that was that was spot on. We could have left at one, we could postpone it to two o'clock, we could postpone it to three o'clock, four o'clock, and then at five o'clock, thank God that we were able to be squeezed in and be prayed, prayed for because that was the whole point of just knowing that it was not in vain. It was definitely an effort, and even though we're driving back this evening, but the effort and just being there and not being rushing the things of Christ because he, 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 we need him more than he needs us at the end of the day. So <laughs> for me, it was just, Woody, we mustn't go back home without confirmation and a stamp and deliverance. So you are not going to go home empty-handed? No. You are carrying all the blessings. Absolutely. Can Absolutely. you please delve bit, a bit deep into how he was losing money when the man of God spoke of the, 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 the money that has to be used? Let me just thank you for this opportunity that you are giving me. Upon arrival, uh, I've seen a lot of changes before the, even the pastor came. So, yeah, I think it was just a blessing to be here because of something is being uh, 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 taken off my shoulders. So by I just feel stepping very, here, already yes, the change already, has yes, happened. Because I'm, not, I'm not a person that's, uh, that's very patient, especially with the service. But today I felt like staying forever until the church uh, finishes. So I think for the pastor to pray for me, something is you know, off my shoulder. So he's helped me. Awesome. Uh, so financially, I will say, uh, I wouldn't know what, 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 what makes me maybe to spend money or something, but I, I use a lot of money, more than, most probably more than what I'm making. What would happen that would cause you to lose this money? Uh, I would say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very helpful person, but sometimes I overhelp people, you know, like I, I, I can issue money even when it's not, it's not supposed to, you understand? I'm a, I'm a very good person. So maybe probably something it's making me to, to give out money just like that. But uh, hopefully from now onwards it won't happen. <laughs> but let's ask your wife concerning the issues of money. Can you, do you have something else to say? Do you have more to, to elaborate on what was happening in your life? Well, his business makes money. Yeah. But as much as he makes the money, he loses the money. I mean, when you lost your bucky, I mean, you've lost how many cars in the past you just recently, with your taxi business, you just spent um, so much money to fix a taxi that shouldn't be fixed because it's only two years. Yeah. The taxi is two years. Um, and he's already spent half of the money that he's been paying uh, the taxi with only because... Yesterday, like 60000 you, you lose money. Like the, the, That's supposed to make you money, but you've lost it because... Yeah. Um, your drivers are killers. They break a lot. They, you know, they, they take advantage. And they're getting you. And they take advantage. I mean, you've lost your bucky. You've lost um, your new bucky. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, within the space of uh, three months, he got an accident. Thank God he didn't die. And, 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 and then the bucky, the next accident was a write-off. So 
those are just things that you see mm -hmm. they are not I mean he bought a Mercedes but the Mercedes is already giving problems every week his money is leaving, leaving his pocket fixing the car so there's so many things that you see with this is not normal mm -hmm. this is not normal this is not supposed to happen hence we came here because when my mom realized Uti, you know uh, when I kept complaining Uti, but Tole is losing so much money. Like this week, this is how much he's lost. Next week, that's how much he's lost. And yet, he's, he's, he dedicates so much of his time to making things work, and he's losing so much. And she was like, "Lomvana <laughs> lona." She was like, "Lomvana lona." Tim Peter getting guluga cool. Lom tebunda kabanga kuten figele gamfundis tonight. Lom fundis gunyandi lom fagas wala band. Mle tim funong chela tona le ti felela lomvana. So I I want you to come and get prayed for. I know the deliverance uh, the the deliverance service. I've been I've, I've sat under an anointing of deliverance and um, I've I've served in a church of deliverance so I know the power of deliverance hence when my mom said come you need to be delivered I knew for sure the, the, there will be a difference I knew that something is not going to be the same when pastor said the same way that you came in today you, there's something special for you and that will be your deliverance that will be your sickness let, get, getting left behind so it was for me it was just a, it was, it was a perfected trip i mean we got here on, on thursday evening and um we came to church today and i can we can drive knowing that our lives and our our, our lives are just protected and we can drive safely i mean we're gonna leave in the evening but we can drive knowing that god is watching over us and that's what gives me confidence Hallelujah. We thank God for, for the day. We thank God for somebody that he has used to bring you to such a place. Amen. And you have received what you longed for for so long. And Amen. some of the things you may have taken normal. But God yeah. being God, yeah. he is yeah. showing to be yeah. faithful in yeah. all this. He always gives us a, a reason to thank you. Amen. So there was something that he said. What was the sealer of everything the men of God said? That promise that you are running with, that you have to confess every day in your lives. A curse is subtracted with another curse that was the special service for today and when he was praying for you at the prayer line there is something that felt the day. he said from now on things are gonna be easy you don't have to lose so much money anymore Thank God for everything that has happened. We bless the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for what he has done for us in the cross. We ask you that for maintaining this wonderful, wonderful miracle, we ask you to continue, continue reading the word. It will help you to maintain the testimony that God has given you.